Alright, here's a quick video about how I think I'm going to use this new Layers Panel plugin. It's pretty cool. Um, Dwayne wants to talk about this whole V-Ray and all that, that selection stuff in here. I don't use any of those right now, but uh, it seems to work regardless of what you choose up here. But um, I suppose it just gives you more options, but I haven't explored it that far yet. Uh, this is a model, a framing model that I'm working on for a house that I'm currently building right now, and I'm trying to finish up the framing model before we get that far. Uh, foundation's in now though, but the way this uh, works in this layers panel is it, it reflects all the layers that you have over here, but you can um, sort them and group them nice and easy and control their visibility. So I can use the eye to cut them on, kind of like in Photoshop. And so the way I think I'm going to do it is I want to be able to see my foundation uh, so I can work with my foundation crew and then the lower level framing, um, I've got that on and got my little anchor bolts in there. Um, in this case, I've got my ductwork in there. I might put that in a different um, area, but I've got that in there because when I added my floor trusses on there, um, I was just making sure I was in all the cavities. But So there's my lower level framing that I could study without having all, everything above it kind of as a nuisance. Um, I can cut on the main floor, and then I've got all my main floor framing, uh, including these DWGs that, um, that I use to create uh, the model that I traced over top of. But you can expand on those and I could go in and say let's cut off that uh, DWG because I don't want to see that. Um, but it came in handy like I marked toilets and cut out the holes make sure I wouldn't gonna have any conflicts with anything. And um, But if I wanted to say take off my framing and take off my uh, uh, see my main framing and take off my subfloor that's when you can see the trusses and see how we've designed those to fit the ductwork. And I got my return air planned, this chase planned, a couple holes in this beam planned. So, anyways, it gives me the chance to toggle the visibility of these things so I don't have all this other crap in the way. Uh, so, I'll cut all that back on main framing, uh, my deck framing. I'm still working on that. The client changed the deck. Um, it's going to come all the way out flush to here, I think, so I got to redo that. but this has all the main floor framing on it and um, this one was cool because this guy wanted carless in his garage so I had to uh, he originally had scissors trusses here for one bay of lifts but really didn't give him the headroom that we needed so I actually um, uh, moved the dormer that was parked over in this between these two garage doors and moved it over and centered up give him the headroom and, and then hand framed that stick frame that roof so if I cut on the roof See, I used rafters and collar ties served as the ceiling and let that ceiling continue on into this dormer. So he wanted a two-pole lift in the center bay and a, f a four-pole, four-post lift uh, for storage in the future. So, anyways, in this case, same as the floor trusses, I get them from my truss manufacturer and got all my roof trusses from my truss truss manufacturer. This whole center section is hand framed, two by twelve rafters and then I did all this over framing on top of it to show my carpenter how we would end up doing that so had to think it out in advance with valley rafters and all that kind of stuff so again I want to control the visibility of things and so this lets you do it all right from this layers panel pretty cool and then I want to uh, put this framing model through Lumion, Lumen all the different uh, ones that we can test out and see what we like the best but quick little review of layers panel.